Thank you for using SK602 infusion pump. In this video, I'm going to show you two things. One, the basic operation steps of SK602. Two, if you want to change a new IV set, how to adjust the accuracy value. Okay, let's start our first part today, how to operate SK602. Well, firstly, you need to press power key to start the pump. Press it for 3 seconds, you will see the pump is started. Okay, now you will see read mode interface. As you have noticed, SK602 infusion pump have three infusion modes. This is read mode. Also, you press set key. You will have time mode. You press it again, set. This is body weight mode. Let's start with the uh, read mode. This read mode. Under the read mode, there are two parameters need to be sent. The first one is rate. The second one is preset volume. For example, I want to give this patient 200 ml volume. Uh, I want the rate to be 151 ml per hour. How should I do? I will show you. You change the rate to be 151 ml per hour. Firstly, you press enter key. Now you can see the rate, this parameter is chosen, right? Then you press select key. When you press it, please notice the middle, this middle value here. Press it once, you will notice it become up and down 100, right? Then you press up key once. You will see the rate is increased by 100. Then press select key again. Press up key five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now the rate becomes 151. Then press enter key again. Now we change the preset volume to be 200 ml. You choose, you press down key to choose it first. Okay, then enter key again. Now this value has been chosen. Make it 100, press twice, it becomes 200, then press enter key. Now you will see the rate is 151 and the preset volume is 200 ml. You could start infusion. So this is how we change the parameters and the rate mode. It is very simple, right? Okay. Now let's come to time mode. Press set key once. You see, this is time mode. What is time mode? Well, for example, a nurse say, I want to give this patient an infusion for 30 minutes and uh, the total volume is 60 ml. Then she could, uh, she could set the parameters in this way. Firstly, time, choose it and uh, change it to be 30 minutes. Press minus 40. See, this is 30 minutes, right? Press enter key again. Now press down key to choose volume. Uh, she wants the volume to be 60 ml. Now it's 180.6. So she press enter key to choose this a parameter first, then press select key to choose 100. Press down key once, the value will reduce by 100. And then choose 10. Press down twice. See it reduce 20. Uh, also, you can observe the rate is changing while I change these two values. Okay. Now, you will see after time and uh, after we set the time and the volume, the rate 
can be calculated automatically. This is time mode. Next, we come to body weight mode. Okay, press set key again. BW mode, body weight mode. Okay, for this mode, uh, a lot of parameters need to be set. The first one is the weight of the patient. For example, let him to be 75 kg, okay? 75, 3, 4, 5. And the drug uh, is 15. Then choose the volume is 100 ml. Okay, next dose, maybe 10. Okay, preset volume 100. You can see the rate here was too large. It's, anyway, the rate is calculated automatically. After you set all those parameters, the rate can be calculated automatically. This is body weight mode. Next, I will show you how to fix the infusion pump with the IV stand. You can see there is a screw here. You fix it to this way. You retort the screw. Okay, now it's well fixed. Now I will show you how to install the IV set. Firstly, you open the door like this. Then you pull it straight, fix it. You should fix it like this. Please notice, like this. Then close the door gently. Please, now you can see the light is on. I mean, this IV set is well fixed. When you close the door, uh, I need to mention again, please do not close it in this way. This is no, not good. It may hurt your finger. Just uh, close it like this. So the IV set is well fixed. So far, I have explained to you about three infusion modes. Rate mode, time mode, body weight mode, and how to change the parameters under those infusion modes. And after that, I showed you how to fix the infusion pump with the IV stand. And then I show you how to fix the IV set were into the pump. Now I'm going to show you some other parameters of this infusion pump. Press stop and select the keys together. You will enter, enter into another interface. In this interface, there are more parameters I hope you understand. Well, the first one is bed number. Mm, well, let's say, if you want to use the pump alone, there is no need to set the bed number. But you know, SK Medical also have a station, I mean, with wireless networking, all the infusion pump information could be transferred to the station, uh, which is located at the nurse's station. If you want to use the pump together with the station, there is, uh, it is very necessary to set the bed number. Next is the KVO rate. KVO means keep vein open. This value could be changed from 1 to 5.0 ml an hour. Uh, let me okay. choose the KVO rate. Press enter key. Let's change it to 2.5, uh, OK? 2, oh, sorry. Two. 
press enter key again. So this is KVO rate. Next, we come to this parameter. It's called tube. Well, you could choose A pipe, B pipe, and C pipe. Uh, well, I think uh, you may feel a little bit confused. What is A pipe? What is B pipe? And what is C pipe? Let me explain. You know, we say SK602 infusion pump could use all standard IV sets, right? But if you want to switch one brand IV set to another, you must change the accuracy value here. Suppose the hospital is using three brand IV sets. Maybe at uh, 9 a.m., the nurse wants to use the infusion pump with brand A IV set. And uh, at 6 p.m., she wants to use this IV, uh, to use this infusion pump with brand C IV set. Then she needs to, you know, readjust the accuracy value from time to time. And this gives the nurse a lot of extra work. In order to prevent those problems and extra work for the nurses, we came up, we came up with a solution. That is to ask our infusion pump to memorize three different brands IV set parameters. That is what you are looking at right now. Two, pipe, uh, pipe A, B, and C. You could change them. Uh, for example, the nurse wants to use pipe A at 9 a.m. So she choose, she starts the pump, press stop and select keys together to enter into this interface and choose tube, choose A. Then all the parameters, for example, air value, occlusion value, and accuracy will be exactly for pipe A. Uh, maybe at 3 p.m. she wants to use another brand IV set, pipe B, for this uh, for the infusion pump. She again press start key, then press stop and select keys together to enter into this interface, and then choose tube, press enter key, choose C. You can see the air value, occlusion value, and accuracy value, they all changes. Now it's suitable for pipe C. Then the nurse could just uh, use pipe C for the infusion. Okay, now let's, uh, I want to change it to pipe A because you know this is the default value and uh, we just think pipe A uses, I mean uh, the hospital uses pipe A the most. Okay. Next is air bubble value. Well, we don't suggest you to change it. To change it, you don't need to change it. And the occlusion value, the same, no need to change. Next comes to the accuracy value. As I have explained, you need to change the accuracy when you want to use a new brand IV set, right? Okay, now I'm going to show you how to change the accuracy value. We use Dragon Heart IV set to test the accuracy value. But if you want to use a new brand of IV set, there are several things you need to prepare. Firstly, uh, infusion pump, of course. And then, the brand of IV set you want to use. And thirdly, that is a mirror cup. This is a, a 25 ml mirror cup. Okay. You put the IV set in. Then press stop and select keys together to return to the main interface. Okay, this is rate, rate mode. Then you change the rate to be 150 ml an hour. Okay, 150 ml per hour. The preset volume to be 10 ml.
and open this. After that, press Start key to start the pump. Now you can see the light is flashing and the infusion pump is working at 150 ml per hour for infusion. This represents for accumulated volume. Now it's increasing. I need to explain about the theory here. Uh, you said uh, you will see we set the preset volume to be 10 ml, right? If the IV set works accurately, the actual volume should be 10. I mean, it should be exactly the same with the preset volume we set. But if the accuracy value is not good, I mean. The actual volume may be maybe 12, maybe 8. I mean, it will not be 10, right? If it is like this, you need to change the accuracy value. Generally speaking, uh, if the preset volume is 10 and uh, the actual volume is 11, suppose it is 11, 1 ml more than 10, we will add 2 to the accuracy value. Yeah, let's wait, let's wait, uh, what will be the actual volume? As you will see, now the accumulated volume is 9.7, it's near, near 10. And when it is 10, there will be the completion, yes, you can see here, this is the over alarming. The pump is noticing you that the com the completion of the infusion. You press stop key. Okay, to stop this infusion. And next, you take the IV set out. Let's check the actual volume. Well, it raised It raised 11 for me, okay? It raised 11, so it is 1 ml more than 10. What should we do? Press stop and select keys together. Choose the accuracy value. Now it's, choose it, press enter key. Now it's 71, and uh, the actual volume is 11. I mean 1 ml more than 10, so we should add 2 here. Make it 73. Press enter key again, and uh, press stop and select keys to return to the main interface. Then, use this IV set to test the uh, accuracy again. Still, the rate to be 150. Preset volume. Preset volume to be 10 and press clear key to clear this accumulated volume to make it zero and uh, do exactly the same and, uh, uh, and check if the actual volume is the same with the preset volume. If it is the same, okay, there's no need to to uh, adjust the accuracy again. If it is not, try again. Finally, thank you for using SK602 Infusion Pump. If you still have any questions, uh, we welcome you to contact us. Thank you.